back at it again today with yet another witchy inspired fairy tale-esque cottage for your witch spellcaster sims and this build is inspired by a good witch so the last house i built was for my current household that i really wanted to get into and explore the pack with and i have still yet to really <laughs> stop building long enough to do that but yeah i came across this really cute white little cottage reminded me of something that a witch would live in i don't know and i was like you know what that just looks like a very good witch cottage and thus came the name good witch cottage or whatever I want to call this but anyways I had a lot of fun building this house and when I was building it I had a family of mine and I'm going to share their story with you guys but I kind of fell in love with the storyline of these sims that I had come up with and so I was like shoot I know I already have me a family I've been playing or well not really playing but wanting to play to explore this game pack but this one this family sounds really cool really interesting and I figured that a lot of you might like the story and so I had every intention or actually not every intention I actually did I went into the game went into create a sim and I actually created the family they were so cute and like I said I'm gonna tell you all about them in just a minute but freaking a I was so pissed off my game literally never crashes and it just it crashed as soon well yeah I went to share them to the gallery or no I didn't share it to the gallery I saved it to my page or something I don't know but I don't know if that's like a glitch with the gallery or or if it was just my game because I rarely ever have instances where my game crashes so I was pretty pissed off because they were so perfect and I still really really love the storyline behind this family so I'm probably going to go in and recreate them one more time and try to get them up to you guys um, so you guys can download them if you want to and when I created them the first time I used custom content and then I was thinking okay if I do it again uh, you know create them again I'm going to use, um, well, the, uh, well, the skin details, like the skin is going to be custom content, but I'm going to use, um, either base game or Realm of Magic hairstyles and clothing. That way you guys can download this family and use them and, Yes, you'll have to make sure you include custom content um, in the search, but everything should be accessible. You should have all of the outfits and everything, and they should be ready to go as long as you have base came and at least the Realm of Magic. So if you guys are interested in seeing that family and especially having them without all the custom content clothing like I usually do, let me know in the comments down below because I'm probably going to do it anyways, but it makes me feel better if you guys tell me, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. So anyways, yeah, before I tell you a little bit about this family, I'm going to go ahead once again and apologize, which, you know, I'm probably not going to apologize every video, but expect this to be the normal to hear baby noises in the background. <laughs> my son is currently asleep in my lap right now. It's really the only place I can get him to sleep really good. You know, if I lay him down, he doesn't sleep as long as he is when I'm holding him. It's just, you know, that comfort of, you know, security of being in mama's arms. So if you hear any baby noises, he likes to make noises when he sleeps sometimes. But anyways, yes. So this house is coming along on the exterior. It's really, really cute. Came together way nicer than I thought it would. I love this little porch. Um, patio on the side here and I did size up that uh, shade thing I don't even know what the proper term for it is um, but I end up deleting it and going in and doing the um, the fence thing I don't really know what you would call it but you'll see what I'm talking about and people do it all the time I kind of forgot about that trick uh, sometimes you know I forget things but I do like to size up that little shade thing that you know, that, little, that thing right there, that white thing, yeah. <laughs> I like to size that up. I think it looks really nice, but it just really wasn't working. 
um, for me. It just looks a little off, so I made it a little bit better. So that's going to change. But anyways, yeah, I was impressed with how nicely the landscaping came in this house, as well as the house before this one that I did a speed build on. And I mentioned it in that build, but I love building in this world. <laughs> I love how green and lush it is, and it just makes landscaping easier for some reason. Um, and I also did the floor plan off camera, so I do apologize for that um, because I was going off of an inspiration picture. Not a floor plan, an inspiration picture. So I didn't have a floor plan, and I am very intimidated by coming up with my own floor plans. So I cut that part out. Actually, I don't even think I recorded that part. I just picked up after I did all that. <laughs> but here I am adding a fireplace right here, and then, like I said, you'll see me change that little patio area. But anyways, um, I'm going to stop rambling about the exterior of the house now and go ahead and tell you about this family that I have been kind of like gushing over. Um, and hopefully you guys will like their story as well and will like to see them on the gallery so you guys can play them. But anyways, um, I had named them the Faulkner family. And the idea behind the Faulkner family is that the mom is a good witch, okay? The mom and dad, they're both adults. Now, I had the dad as a normal sim. Um, I was, I went back and forth debating on whether I wanted to make him, you know, a spellcaster too, but I decided it'd be cool for him not to be a spellcaster. He just, you know, happened to fall for a witch, and he knows she's a witch, and he thinks it's pretty cool. He knows all about that life, um... And, you know, it hasn't really interfered with their relationship. He lets her do her thing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's a pretty cool dude. He's kind of, like, irrelevant to the story. But the mom is just, like, the pers persona, the, the, the picture, I don't really know what word I'm looking for, of a good witch. <laughs> and she had blonde hair, it was curly, absolutely beautiful, just very like dainty and just, you know, just looked very angelic. And I had her with the good tray, the cheerful tray, you know, she's just a very good witch. <laughs> and her house, obviously this one right here, um, is what I was inspired by. It's very white, very pastel -y, very light, very eerie, and I really like that. Um, and so is her style. I think she's really, really cute. But anyways, the fun part, or the fun thing about this family is the fact that they have two daughters and they're twins. And they are both children, so they are spellcasters, so they technically, you know, can't have the uh, practice magic, but they have that magic spellcaster bloodline. Um, so once they turn into teenagers, they will be able to practice magic and whatnot. But starting off, um, they're just, you know, they know their mom's a witch, they know they got it in them, and they just can't wait to start practicing magic. But their names, oh, did I tell you? I didn't even tell you the mom and dad's name. So the dad's name was Cole Faulkner, and the mom is Beatrice Faulkner. And their two twin daughters, their names are Tabitha and Allegra. And they're uh, complete total opposites. So the mom is a good witch, right? Well, the twins are, like I said, polar opposites. One's good and one is bad. So one's going to follow in her foot, her mom's footsteps. She's very good, tender-hearted, wants to use her magic for good, you know, make the world a better place. Very girly, very dainty, very cute. And then um, that's Tabitha. And then on the other hand, we have Allegra, who is mean. I don't know why this child is so mean, but I had her have the mean trait. Uh, so her and her sister don't get along very good at all because uh, obviously Allegra just picks on her all the time and is just really mean to her, makes fun of her. And she just has like this hard ass personality, uh, which isn't all that bad. I'm not going to have her grow up to be evil or anything. She's just kind of mean spirited. So obviously when they become teenagers and they're able to dibble dabble in their magic, um, I can imagine that Allegra takes the, um, the wrong path in the eyes of her mother. 
Um, we know that there are the three schools, the three sages um, that you can go and talk to. There is the mischief and the one I can't pronounce, but basically it's, it's pretty much like black magic is what I imagine it being the equivalent to. And then there's practical magic. So obviously I think that they would both know everything there is to do with magic I think is very important for spellcasters if you're going to be a good spellcaster to kind of be all knowing you know you know how to do practical magic you can do mischief if you want to and you yeah I know black magic but I think that Beatrice was never interested in the dark side of magic she always wanted to use her powers for good um, so she doesn't really have much to do with that side of magic. And I don't imagine her knowing many spells because she just was not interested at all in learning about it. Um, but I do believe she does know some of the mischief things and whatnot. But yeah, I think that Allegra will definitely take that path and get into some more dark magic. And she'll kind of see it as, you know, they have all this power. Why... Why would you not take it to its full opportunity and its full advantage? And I think that's going to have some consequences for her growing up. I just see her being more like gothic, a more rebellious, uh, just real badass. I don't know. I kind of I like Allegra. I like the idea of playing with um, two polar opposite twins. It really reminds me of Angela and Lilith from The Sims 2, which, of course, you know, they're not witches or spellcasters by any means, but, you know, one's real girl and supposedly the perfect child and then the other one is you know more gothic and the troubled child but I don't think necessarily that this family has the same um, they don't treat their kids the same as I would compare it to Lilith and Angela from The Sims 2 Beatrice and Cole are both very loving parents they love both of their daughters um, it just it does probably cause a lot of tension between, you know, Beatrice and Allegra with all the fighting and then, you know, her practicing black magic, which I would imagine Beatrice has forbidden to be practiced in their household. So I definitely see her growing up as a teenager and testing her mother's patience. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that this would be a really, really fun family to play. So honestly, I hate to break it to <laughs> Evan, Nora, and Edith, the family that I originally created to play, I may have to, like, not play them and play with this one just because I love the storyline and I would love to see how Tabitha and Allegra grow up and, you know, what they do with their magic. Is their, um, is their relationship going to change? Is it going to get better? Uh, I don't know. I, I just like playing with children and teenagers. I'm very family-oriented, so this appeals to me much more. Even though it's big family, I created Evan, Nora, and Edith, which, if you don't know who that is, go watch my storybook cottage speed build, and I kind of explain their backstory and everything. I really just wanted to have two sims and explore the two different realms of magic and aspirations that you can follow. But, yeah, like I said, this just appeals to me more, so... This may be something that, um, I do. So, yeah, I just, I figured you guys would like that little story and that backstory. So, yeah, I'm going to create them again, like I said, with no custom content or anything. So, you guys can download them if you want to play that storyline out. Like I said, I just think it's fun. But, anyways, yeah, that's a little bit about the family that I imagine live in here. So, yeah, it's a good witch cottage, but it's also like a little family cottage. But I'm probably still going to call it the good witch cottage because it is the cottage of Beatrice, who is a very good witch, and Glimmerbrook has a pristine reputation. And I just love the pastel -y colors and how white and bright it is. Of course, I went overboard using all of the new furniture that came with this pack. But I think it is so pretty. And I love the color swatches. So, yeah, last build was kind of more neutral toned. And this one, you know, is obviously more pastel. So, yeah, I'm not done with the witch speed builds, though. I'm thinking I'm probably going to not necessarily build a house uh, but I want to do an apartment kind of like a gothic witch apartment 
um, or more of like a dark side apartment. I think that would be fun. I haven't really seen anything like that before. I uh, also really want to give a makeover to the two houses in Glimmerbrook and also the bar because they're just not very good, you know, We're, they're just not. <laughs> EA does not do a very good job with their houses these days. It's just Sims team, I understand you, you're pressed for time, you got a lot going on, you're busy, but who would it kill you to just like put a little bit more effort in at least the community lot at least <laughs> but yeah i may do makeovers of those whether i share them on the channel or, or not um i will share them to the gallery just let me know what you guys want to see but anyways here we are in the girls bedroom this house is a pretty small it's only a two bedroom and two bath so the girls share a room which probably drives them freaking crazy having to share a room with each other uh, just because they're complete opposites of each other obviously <laughs> so obviously you can see their different personalities on each side of the room I imagine Tabitha, like I said, is very girly and just absolutely adores, looks up to Beatrice, her mother wants to be just like her, and Allegra is more sporty, more tomboyish, and she's into scouts and whatnot. Um, she has, you know, the sporty posters, the little Harry Potter, that's what that poster reminds me of, and then Tabitha, you know, has some fairies and whatnot. Oh, and as far as, like, their familiars, I was thinking that I could definitely see once, you know, obviously they start practicing magic. I can imagine that Tabitha being, like, the good witch, like her mom, she would probably have, like, a little fairy familiar or something like that. And then Allegra being more into, like, the dark and the bad, evil side of magic and the mischievous side, she would have maybe, like, a raven or something like that. It just reminds me of, like, Damon from the Vampire Diaries, uh, because, you know, everywhere he went, it was always kind of like, um, a scarecrow, and I never really understood. As many times as I've watched Vampire Diaries, I don't remember if he wasn't transforming into the scarecrow or raven or whatever that black bird was that tended to follow him around, uh, when he was near Elena in the very first season, or if it was just, you know is familiar that followed him around I don't know but I can definitely see her having you know that black dark bird kind of represent her personality so yeah I was thinking about all of that when I was creating this house but anyways I just furnished Beatrice and Cole's room which I love the bed that came with this pack it is so freaking pretty and I didn't use it in the last build because it didn't go with the aesthetic and personality of the sim, but I definitely thought it fit Beatrice very well and kind of flowed with this house and the color scheme and whatnot. But anyways, I'm I'm just having so much fun building with this pack and kind of, you know, coming up with like these stories. But I also put a basement here because I wanted them to have, you know, their magic room where they come and practice their magic. So in this case, it is downstairs. So we have their cauldron down here. And of course, all of the cabinets, knickknacks, orbs, all of that down here. I even gave them the desk, display cabinet whatever so this is where Beatrice spends most of her time I definitely see her more into the potion aspiration side she's very into you know herbs collecting um, gardening and stuff like that and creating potions and of course she'll come down here and she will help the girls you know kind of learn some potions and spell casting once they age up into teenagers uh, yeah, it's official. I'm definitely going to create this family and play them myself. I just I love the storyline. I could just imagine Beatrice down here, you know, bonding with the girls, teaching them, you know, all of their ways. And poor Cole, I feel like he kind of get left out because he's not, you know, a witch or a wizard or spellcaster or anything like that. But he adores his wife and adores his girls and, you know, he lets them embrace who they truly are and they do have a laundry room down here as well, but this video is wrapping up, so if you enjoyed it, um, this build is available for download on the gallery, all of the origin information social media is linked down below so be sure to check that out give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you have not let me know if you would like to see this family create a sim and upload to the gallery and with that being said i will talk to you guys later bye